Hello, hello, Mordimer is here and welcome to one of the first games of FIDE Online Steinitz Memorial. This is the uh, online tournament organized by FIDE uh, on chess24.com platform and this is the Blitz tournament, 3 minutes plus 2 seconds incrementation and we have a lot of very strong players and yes, world champion Magnus Carlsen also plays. So I would like to show you one of the games played by Magnus Carlsen in the first day. Uh, so Magnus Carlsen, he's ranking 2887. Uh, but this is not the uh, highest ranking in the world. Uh, he's just behind Hikaru Nakamura. However, Magnus Carlsen uh, is the world champion, triple world champion, because he also is the world champion in Blitz. So he definitely is the favorite of this tournament. We have 10 men and 10 women uh, competing uh, in two tournaments. Um, and Magnus Carlsen is 29 years old. He's gonna play as white and his opponent, Shahriya Mamedyarov from Azerbaijan, Grandmaster, very strong Grandmaster. Uh, he is actually in standard time control number 11 in the world, but in Blitz slightly worse because he is number 33. He's ranking 2716. He is 35 years old and he's gonna play as Black. And before we start the game, I would like to just announce that only 29% of uh, viewers are actually my followers so if you really enjoy uh, my content if you uh, watch it from time to time please press subscribe smash the bell button and you're not gonna miss any more content uh, I create and I try to create every day today that this is my second video so without further ado let's see how Magnus Carlsen play uh, in this tournament so we have d4 by Magnus Carlsen d5 by Shahri Armamed Yarov and Bishop f4 so London system accelerated London system with very early Bishop on f4 Knight on f6 we have e3 e6 and and now knight f3 by Magnus Carlsen and bishop d6. So uh, facing the bishop and asking what you're gonna do with that. Magnus Carlsen don't care about that. He don't take that bishop as this would actually uh, create very strong uh, pawn center which can be pushed by black. Uh, also he doesn't care if the if the pawn is gonna be taken because the, the pawn from f4 gonna attack off on f5. So that's these two options are not really great for black. So Magnus Carlsen play knight b on d2. Uh, we have castle by Mamedyarov and c3. So very solid uh, construct uh, made by Magnus Carlsen. It looks like very passive uh, but this is just one of the systems of playing. We have b6, we have knight on e5 so activity starts uh, and now c5. Uh, bishop on d3 so setting up the bishops in very very uh, active uh, diagonals and now bishop b7. Uh, and here Magnus Carlsen start to attack. Uh, remember that this is the blitz, so uh, a lot of things can be missed, uh, also a lot of tactics. But this is also a very good lesson how uh, the attack against the black position, uh, you know, can be set up. We have h4, knight on c6, and now queen on f3. So Magnus Carlsen is very serious about uh, attack on the king's position. And here is probably critical moment of the game. Uh, what Shahriar should play is queen on c7 attack the, the knight three times. That would be triple attack. Uh, so uh, white would have to do something and queen on g3 is not enough because this knight actually could jump here and attack the queen and the bishop and that would be uh, very dangerous for white. So what white would have to play is knight on c6 and this could be a um, very safe position for black. Uh, however, here we have rook on c8. So uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov don't really care uh, what's going on on his uh, king side. Is it dangerous? Let's see. So we have h5 by Magnus Carlsen. And now uh, h6 can be not really pleasant. So we have h6 by uh, Shahriar Mamedyarov. And now queen on g3 already targeting h6. So that's the first threat already and this is only move 12. So what to do now? 
Uh, if king on h8, not really great move. Knight on g6 with check, f takes on g6 and now bishop d6. Uh, and now what to play as black? Uh, if the rook goes for example to e8 because it's under attack then uh, White gonna win the exchange this way or another. So probably G takes on H5 and after Bishop on F8, Queen F8, Knight F3. White stands really great and also uh, it's you know up the exchange. So definitely uh, not great to play King on H8. But there are not really good options here. Uh, Knight on E8 was played by Black and now we have Bishop on H6 as expected. And now what to play as Black again? This is already a very difficult position. And the funny thing, but uh, the engine recommends to eliminate this knight. Uh, and after taking the knight, uh, it says, okay, that's not really greatest move. It was great before, but now it says like, no, it's losing. So uh, D takes on E5, Bishop takes on E5 is the best move. And if Bishop is taken, then uh, Black also can take the Bishop and that would be okay. However, F4, this is what White can play. And now the Bishop has nowhere to go. Bishop F6, still Bishop G7, Knight G7, uh, H6 is coming of course. Uh, Rook E8 making some space, but now Knight F3 and... Uh, and the attack on the black's position is a very strong. So not really a great idea, but what more can be played? So this knight definitely is pinned. So maybe f6. f6 is actually even worse continuation because black don't even have the time to take that knight. Uh, because bishop on g7, knight on g7 and now h6. Uh, and what now? Here is the problem. Checkmate is coming. So uh, if rook goes, for example, to c7, we would have h7. And after kings go to h8, we would have a checkmate. So uh, really not comfortable position. Uh, rook f7 also doesn't help because h7. And now again, checkmate is coming. So uh, black would have to play a king on f8. And then it's losing, of course, uh, promoting the queen uh, would win the game. So uh, what Shahriyar Mamedyarov played here was C takes on D4, trying to open the position a bit here in the center, maybe making some uh, counter attack. Uh, we have Bishop on G7, Knight on G7 and now H6 as expected. Uh, Queen on F6 now defending the, the Knight. H takes on G7, Queen takes on G7 and now how would you continue the attack? Because as you see, this knight is still pinned and knight is under attack. So white gonna lose the knight. Uh, and there is not much to do about that. Uh, okay, any moves like f4 are not really enough. And Magnus Carlsen in this blitz game found absolutely the best continuation. And he played bishop on h7 check. Uh, king on h8 and now knight on f7 with check and now queen is under attack but also the bishop is under attack so here is the plan now rook on f7 and now bishop g6 check first this is the discovered check king on g8 and now bishop f7 with check again king on f7 is the only move and only now queen on d6 uh, we have D takes on C3, B takes on C3, uh, and what do we have? So white definitely won the exchange and won pawn, so uh, already much better position. We have knight on e5, very nice universal move, uh, first the rook can take on c3, but also this knight now controls d7, so uh, the queen can go there and for example check the king, so that's the one thing, and also a uh, queen actually can't go to f4, blocking the way of the, of the queen, so quite nice move here. Uh, and here what Magnus Carlsen could play is probably rook on h5, attacking this knight, twice and then after knight on d3 uh, king on f1 and this king could be very safe on f1 and also the rook would be already developed but world champion prefer to castle in this position and here 
uh, Mamediarov goes for d4. A very sneaky idea, especially in the blitz, you know, attacking g2. And that's a very serious threat. And now e4 would be um, a better idea here. However, Magnus goes for f3. Uh, and okay, we have d takes on e3, knight on e4, avoiding the attack of the pawn, and now e2. Rook has to be moved, so rook on f2, and now king g8. It's not much time left, so Shahriar uh, plays the move like king on g8, want to win some time. Uh, he probably could go for rook on g8 and try some attack here. Uh, with the knight maybe attacking on f3 but it's very difficult you know when you are low on time to play uh, you know very precise move uh, we have queen on e6 with check king on h8 and now queen h3 couple of checks king g8 and now rook on e2 uh, and here now black can move so we have rook on f8 now threatening to take on f3 we have double attack and the pawn on g2 already is pinned so uh that's uh, the threat we have queen on e6 uh, with check by magnus carlsen king h8 and now knight on g5 defending f3 uh, and also the knight is not protected but it doesn't matter because this knight is also under attack what to do now it's very difficult decision what to play now and we have knight on f3 with check by Mamediarov. And uh, Mamediarov thinks, okay, I'm gonna get my material back. And he is actually right. But that's not enough, you know, to draw the game. We have knight on f3. And now bishop takes on f3. So uh, winning back the material. However, rook f2. And what to play now? Uh, if Mamediarov goes with the bishop on b2, that's actually... I think the best move uh, then Carlsen can just exchange uh, the pieces uh, and now rook d1 and uh, and with the extra exchange and extra pawn definitely is winning uh, queen c5 now rook d4 and it's very dangerous because black king is naked it's you know don't have any protection so uh, that's not gonna you know end up good white gonna just exchange the queens uh, and win the game with the with the rook against the bishop should be easy for Magnus Carlsen. However, here um, Shahriar Mamediarov play queen on c3. Now defending the bishop, uh, the problem is after rook a on f1, uh, he resigned the game and he resigned because he has nothing to do. Uh, if he moved the bishop, he gonna lose the rook. Okay, and if he plays something like uh, queen on c5, buying some time here, it's not enough because g takes on f3. Very simple, and with extra, and with extra rook, of course, it's a winning. So uh, congratulations to Magnus Carlsen. He won this game, uh, and in this position, actually, Shahriar Mamediarov resigned the game. So uh, if you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like this, press unlike and leave the comment. What games would you like me to cover or which players would you like me to cover? Because there are 10 great players. Maybe you have some favorite uh, and I follow uh, most of the games. But uh, if you have some favorite, it's, it's I would be very, very happy to cover the games of your choice. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.